we know how to find the hcf of two numbers using the long division method in the long division method i divide the bigger number by the smaller number and then whatever remainder is there that becomes the divisor of the next step and the divisor becomes the dividend of the next step and we continue to do this till we get the remainder zero now I need to find the HCF of 120, 144 and 160. But we see that we have not just two but three numbers here. So how do we find their HCF using the long division method? Well, we know that we can only divide one number by another number. So we can use just two numbers. So how do we find the HCF? of three numbers using the long division method. It is possible to do that. Let us see how we can do that. So first take any two numbers. You can take any two out of the three numbers. So suppose I take 120 and 160. I need to first find their HCF. That is for the time being forget about 144 and find the HCF of 120 and 160 by the long division method. So I need to divide the larger number by the smaller number. So I need to divide 160 by 120. So 120 goes into 160 one time. Now 120 into 1 is 120. I subtract this to get the remainder 40. So this is what I have. What is the next step? 40 which is the remainder now becomes the divisor and it divides 120 which is the divisor of the previous step. So 40 will now divide 120. How many times does 40 go into 120? 3 times. 40 into 3 is 120. And I get the remainder 0. So this cross is for 0 remainder. So 0 remainder or no remainder. This means that I need to stop here. So this 40 which is the divisor of the last step is actually the HCF of 120 and 160. So 40 is the HCF of 120 and 160. But what we need to find is the HCF of these three numbers. We have found the HCF of just two numbers. But what about 144? We can't leave it like that, right? So how do we find the HCF of these three numbers? Well, an important step over here is take this 40, which is the HCF of these two numbers. And now, along with 40, find the HCF of 144. So now, considering that the two numbers that we have are 144, which is the number that we left out and 40 which is the HCF. We need to find the HCF that is we need to divide the larger number which is 144 by the smaller number and follow all the steps of long division method to find their HCF. So can you find the HCF and tell me what will be the HCF? Let us see. So 144 is divided by 40. How many times does 40 go into 144? 3 times. So 120 and I subtract it to get the remainder 24. This is what we have. Now this 24 is the remainder. So this remainder will divide the divisor of the last step. So 24 will now divide 40. 24 goes into 40 one time. 
and I get the remainder as 16. This is what we have. Now this 16 is the remainder. So it will now divide 24. So 16 will now divide 24. 16 goes into 24 one time. And I need to subtract it to get the remainder 8. This is what I have. Now 8 is the remainder. So 8 will become the divisor. What will be the dividend? It will be the divisor of the last step which is 16. So 8 will now divide 16. How many times does 8 go into 16? 2 times. 8 into 2 is 16 and the remainder is 0. So finally I get 0 as the remainder and what will be the HCF? The HCF is the divisor of the last step. Which is the last step? This. What is the divisor of the last step? 8. So 8 is the HCF. 8 is the HCF of what? 8 is the HCF of 40 and 144. But from where did we get this 40? There is no 40 in the question. Recall that 40 is the HCF of 120 and 160. We can say that 8 is actually the HCF of the three numbers. So the HCF of 120, 144 and 160 is 8. So when we need to find the HCF of three numbers using the long division method, we can first take any two numbers. So in this case, we took 120 and 160. But you could also have taken 120 and 144 or 144 and 160. You could have taken any two numbers. First, take any two numbers, find their HCF and then using their HCF and the third number, find HCF again. The final HCF which you get is also the HCF of the three numbers. So you can check it using the prime factorization method or you can also take the other pair of numbers. So you can start with 144 and 160, follow the same process and you will see that you get 8 as the HCF. So this is how you can find the HCF of three numbers using the long division method. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.